our second game for this session. We have the Yonhan Blue Helmets against the Kaiton Hippos. Blue Helmets had a mixed first season. They had three losses in their first weekend, but then three incredibly strong performances and three wins in their second weekend. So they've built, they built a lot over that first season and they've been building over the training in between and in the lead up to this weekend. So it should be a very interesting game. Hippos with some incredibly big games in that first season as well, including an incredibly large win. They are sitting tied at the top. So we're looking to add a win there to stay in touch with the Tigers for that first place. But Blue Helmets will be looking to rise up the rankings as well. Both teams here just lining up, ready for their introductions to the crowd and the cameras. So number one for the Keton Hippos from Hungary, Miklos Tamar. Number two and the captain of the Hippos from Poland, Lukas Pilatz. Number three from New Zealand, Cole Hawkins. Number four from Spain, Angel Gordo Herrero. Number five from Russia, Ivan Debelli. Number eight from the Netherlands, Cherk Webers. And number 11 from Australia, Luke Holmes. Introducing the Blue Helmets now. Number one from France, David Blayo. Number three from France, Valentin Gori. Number four from Italy, Tommaso Ricciardi. Number six from Germany, Patrick Lawrence. Number seven from Singapore, Li Sing Fu. Number eight from Australia, Stephen Hubbard. Number nine from Spain, Ivan Hoyo Fuentes. And number 10 from New Zealand, Alex Lowen, captain of the Blue Helmets for this season. Two referees for this game from England, Stephen Jason. And from Singapore, Ivan Kong. So we saw both teams looking a little unsettled in the previous game, the Tigers and the Commandos. It is the first game of the season, so they do have a number of new players that will be getting back into the swing of things. Both these teams will be looking to have a little bit more settled performance than that previous game. So it should be in for some exciting polo. The Blue Helmets playing a very structured team game last season. The Hippos focusing more on some individual brilliance some, from some very strong players from Pillars, Debelli, Hawkins and Timmer.
Teams just wrapping up their warm up. I have a bit of a team chat before they get this game underway. So last season, combined, these two teams scored 73 goals over six games. So we should be in for a very high scoring game. First half of this game, captain of the Commandos just playing previously, Ed Lart. Ed, how are you feeling? Uh, disappointed, really. Really wanted a better result there. We needed the win or at least a draw, but really we just strong, have... Really strong second half performance there, though. Getting four goals in a row to get back into it. Only one goal down with a minute left. So close, so... Really unfortunate there to not to be able to get that equalising goal, but really good performance in the second half from your team. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, players played really well. About to have this charge start. Getting underway, the belly for the hippos and Hoya Fuentes for the blue helmets. And belly wins it, so the hippos will start with the ball. playing one inside with Holmes. Balls over with Webers. Bellier is playing in that top role the same as he did last season to dictate the play. Hawkins' shot is just blocked under there from Hoya Fuentes. Holmes to Webers. Goro Herrero back to Webers. Pass inside, intercepted, so Blue Helmets do have the ball now. Being pressed by the Hippos though, so Blayo gives it to Hoya Fuentes. Back to Blayo, just passing around to Belly. He's just hanging out at the other end, trying to intercept the ball early. The rest of the team is back though. Balls currently with Lawrence. Ricciardi over to that right hand side. Oh, strong shot there from Gori, but it is just over the bar. were switching keeper at the time so the bit of confusion there but may actually get a little bit of a deflection onto that upright of the goal frame. Goro Herrero just driving in trying to feed it through but sends it back out again the pass wasn't on. Hawkins to Webers Got a bit of space. Shots deflected, but there was a foul there. Ball comes.
comes back out again. Over to Hawkins. To the other side to Gordo Herrero. Strong shot there, but blocked by Blayo. Hippo still with the ball though. Again, Herrero down the right hand side. Nice ball to Cole. Hawkins just funneling a little bit there, but gets the shot off. It is deflected though. Hippo's pressing early, so really wanting to play out and be aggressive in this game. Blue helmets with the ball in attack now. Right hand side with Blayo. Now with Gori. Into the center to. With Ritiadi. Now on the left hand side, Hoya Fuentes. Uh, just slips out of his fingers. Now Hippos do have the ball with Pilaz. Potential fast break on there. Luke Holmes, Webers, Timar, back to Webers. Just slowing things down now, setting up the attack. Combs just drawing the player on the right, sends it over the other side. De Bellet's shot is blocked. Nice work there from David Blayo in goals. Hippos have a corner. With Holmes over to Vevers. Trying to feed it inside there to Pilaz, but deflects out. Holmes again with the ball. Looking for the feed in. He gets it through to Pillars. Captain just trying to keep the ball in, but he is fouled in the process, so. Lawrence is uh, <laughs> facing the wrong direction but doesn't seem phased by it. Probably should have been. Yeah. Just shut down by three Hippos players. Long shot there from Ivan de Bellier. Nowhere near the goal, so. A little bit of frustration from both teams is showing, just not quite settling into this game. Captain Lowen takes the shot, but it's deflected down. First goal after six minutes. So Cole Hawkins, number three for the Hippos, with a very powerful shot down that left hand side. And the 
Blue Helmets have called a timeout. So they will take that minute to have a chat as a team and think about how they can break down this Hippo's defence. They've had opportunities, but they have spent a lot of time in their own defence with the Hippos in attack. So having to work hard to keep them out of their need to hold on to the ball that little bit longer, make the Hippos work in their own defence while they attack for a bit. Patrick Lawrence there just talking to his team. Helmets just getting back to that centre line to get this game back underway. Leo Fuentes down the left hand side taking another dribble. Holding onto the ball. Sending it back out. Rayo sends it over the other side to Lawrence. Feed it into Xing Fu, who is fouled, does have the shooting opportunity. Feeds it back to Lawrence. Shots just blocked down from the Hippos, so unlucky there to the German. And Hippos looking at the fast break. Guerrero. Very strong shot there from the Spaniard. Great goal. So the Hippos taking a two goal lead in this first half. With just three minutes left. Ricciardi, Gori. Over to the other side to nice Lawrence. He's got trick. lots of space. Oh, the shot blocked again. Great work there from Luke Holmes for the Hippos. There is a turnover though. Gori's won the ball back to the Blue Helmets. He sent it back out to Ricciardi. Over to Hoya Fuentes. So they will set up their attack. They won't look to try and take a quick shot. Oh, with Gori to Ricciardi. Shots blocked. Falls nice to Blayo. He's in front of goal. So there may have been a foul in there as well. Blue Helmet sending the ball back out again. So playing it safe, waiting for a good opportunity to take the shot. Blayo feeding it inside to Lawrence, but the shot, the pass is intercepted. So Hippos with the ball again. taking a look at goal, seeing whether he feels like having a shot from halfway, but decides against it. Pilar's stops there from by Ricciardi. Now with Goro Herrero. Over to Holmes. Back to Herrero. Shot there from Dubelli, but blocked. The Blue Helmets now have the ball. Looking for the fast break. Ricciardi has the ball. He's looking at a dribble. And he was fouled there, so he will come back and have a shot. Oh, 
offenders just fouling there in the scuffle after. And he does get the green card there for the foul. When there is a dead ball, they do have to let the ball travel one metre from the hand before they can try and intercept it. Just didn't give enough space. Luke Holmes for the Hippos has called a timeout. 53 seconds left on this clock. Hippos are leading two goals to the Blue Helmet, zero. So 50 seconds left in this half. Hippos will try to use the full remaining time on the clock. They won't want to concede a goal just before the halftime break. Side to Hawkins. Takes a shot but it is blocked out for a corner. Hawkins feeds the ball into the pillars. Gordo Herrera, excellent goal there from the Spaniard, just off that bottom bar and in. Two seconds left on the clock, so Hippo's getting that goal right before the buzzer. Lawrence with the long shot, but doesn't make the distance. And that is the first half, so Hippo's with a three goal lead over the Blue Helmets. Blue Helmets. Just looking a little like they just don't have the creativity to break down this post defense.
just about to get this second half underway. Both teams lined up for the charge start. Blue Helmets three goals down, needing to get back into it in this half. We've seen them play incredibly well when they've been in a game, so we'll see whether they can get back into this one. But great work there from Ivan de Bellia for the Hippos to win that charge start. Not what the Blue Helmets will want starting in defence. Looks like that they have switched to a 2-2. A to be a little bit more aggressive in that defence. Hippos do primarily use those hard drives in their attack, so 2-2, two, two, try and stop them earlier on. Shot blocked out for a corner there. Bevers just taking a dribble. Turning across the other side to Hawkins. Back over to the other side to the belly. Sends it all the way across the other side to Hawkins. Big shot from the Kiwi, but deflected under by Blayo in goals for the Blue Helmets. Weber's just giving it to Hawkins. Hawkins gives it straight back to him. Feeds it to the right-hand side to Holmes. Holmes' shot is blocked by Hubbard. And Blue Helmets do get the ball. Nice work and back there to keep it in. Unfortunately, they do lose the ball straight away there. Sending the ball out to Valentin Gori, but he's just looking behind him and doesn't see it. Unfortunate there to give the ball away because it means that they're just going to have to work again in defence. They do have a fast break here. Valentin Gore is out ahead. He's got the ball and he puts it in. So great work there from the Frenchman to get one back there for the Blue Helmets. So they're only two goals down now. He was just starting the ball in there. And joining me now for commentary for the second half, captain of the Leader Tigers, Adam Hoffmeyer. Thank you. Nice to get the win there, even though it was a bit touch and go at the end. Is it? Yeah, it got a bit tighter than we would have liked. Uh, didn't handle that press too well at the end there, but we had the game in the bag early, so their, their late charge didn't matter. Confidence is key, isn't it? Goro Herrero just feeding it in there to Pilaz. Gives it across to Webers. Across to Hawkins. Hawkins shot. Blocked by Blayo, it does fall for the Blue Helmets as well, so they do win the turnover. Some pressure there from Pillars and Hawkins, but the Blue Helmets don't look too bad. Over to Alex Lowen, gets the ball up the field now with Hubbard. Hubbard taking a dribble, he's being chased down by Hawkins. Hawkins does get the tackle on, but... Hubbard gets the ball back out, so Blue Helmets, bit of time in attack now. Over to Hoya Fuentes, feeds it into Zing Fu. Dibelio just trying to win that ball, but Dean Fu have fouled him. Now with Long. Hoya Fuentes over to Blayo on the left hand side. Over to Hubbard. And back out for the Blue Helmets. So taking their time, waiting for a good option to get that shot off. Thirty seconds left on the shot clock. Still got plenty of time. Long's looking at the shot. Feeds it into Hubbard. 
Back to Lon. And with goal. Nice work there from the Kiwi and the captain of the Blue Helmets. Number 10, Alex Lon. It is. Blue Helmet's coming back nicely now after the 3-0 three, three start to Blue. Getting a couple goals on the board. Weber's shot blocked there. Sorry, deflected out. Off the bar. Holm sends it across the other side. Great work there from Gary to shut down. Goro Herrero. Hippos do have the ball still. Over on the left-hand side with Holmes. Into Webers. Back to Holmes. Just under 30 seconds on the shot clock. Driving forward now. Great shot there from Chuck Webers. Number eight for the Hippos. So score is now four goals to two. Hippos ahead. This game has just lifted a bit. Blue Helmets seem to have pumped themselves up with their captain, Alex, just giving them some strong words at half time. Ricciardi wins the foul there. Just hand tackle wasn't quite legal. the other side to Gori. Gori's shot is blocked out. Great work there from the Hippos. Ricciardi taking a dribble. Across to Lawrence. Now Lawrence's shot is in. Great work there from the jam. Very powerful left hand shot. Scored 11 goals in the first season of this year's CPSL, so we'll be looking to add to that tally in this second season. Goro Herrero. Holmes over to Hawkins. Holmes is taking a drive down the middle trying to feed the ball through to Dibale but it slips out of his hand so Blue Helmets do get the ball are oh, looking for a bit of a fast break oh unlucky there Gory just still got it good opportunity missed by Blue there had the 3 on 2 failed to convert Driving down that left hand side over to Lawrence. Loose ball there, which is picked up by the Hippos. Turnovers costing both teams just there in offense and defense, sorry. with a 1-3-1 stand defence. Belier's shot just 
deflected out to the side by Vallejo. Gordo Herrero dribbling from the corner. Um, another excellent goal from the Spaniard. There's three goals this game. All excellently taken. So two minutes left in this game. The Blue Helmets are two goals down at the moment. Long sends the ball over the other side with Sing Fu. Back out to Ricciardi. Fu looking at the shot, feeding it into Hoya Fuentes and the goal. Nice work there from Ivan Hoya Fuentes, number nine for the Blue Helmets. Just turning his head to look like he's going to pass it across. Blue Helmets having the better of this half, but the first, first half has cost them, giving up three goals to none. So Hibos have called a timeout there. Just under 90 seconds left on the clock. They are one goal ahead, but the Blue Helmets, yes, have had a very good second half, looking to get back into this game. Both setting up to start the game again. Pogo Fuentes for the Blue Helmets just giving a bit, giving a bit of freedom. They've moved back to the 2 2 defense to try and put a bit of pressure out to win the ball. game. 50 seconds. Goro Herrero feeds it inside. A great goal there from Luke Holmes, number 11 for the Hippos. Looks to have won the game for his team with only 45 seconds. They are two goals up. on the line here now I reckon 32 seconds left put pressure out on green try and get that ball back and draw the game level so they're pressing five out the full team just working as hard as they can seconds left. Blue Helmets giving everything. Smart substitution there from the Hippos. And that is the game. So Blue Helmets with a strong half but not enough to get the draw. The Hippos have won this game six goals to five. Great work from both teams but very similar to the game before. Plenty of work to go for the rest of the season with few mistakes on both teams, plenty of building over the remaining games. Some 
excellent goals there from Patrick Lawrence for the Blue Helmets and Angel Gordo Herrera for the Hippos. Look forward to seeing more goals from the pair of them in the future games. But coming up next, we have the Jaywas Wolves and the Jinjoa Bulls in a few minutes.